Okay, hello everyone. Here's Matthias and Timur from Tradimo. Yes, from Tradimo. And today's topic is the beginner strategy. And maybe some of you have already heard about this strategy. And today we want to, yeah, take the first part. And because it's a lot to talk about, therefore we decided to make two parts out of it. And the next part, part two, is of course next Tuesday. 7 p.m. again, and we will start today with the first part. And please ask the chat box intensively. Ask all your questions you have, and we are happy to answer all those questions. Okay, then I would say let's start without any explanation about our persons because we did it many times. Or would you prefer to do it again, Timur? Well, I think everyone knows me, but okay, for a, a short recap, my name is Timo, Timo Koban. I'm the head of sales of Tradimo, and uh, with Matthias Zenecke, uh, yeah, we will bring uh, the, the, the stuff, the complexity of the products and, and the markets more nearer to you than others. Maybe another question to you, Timo, because I didn't know that, or I don't know it. Um, how good is your Russian? Uh, let me see. Um, I think, uh, can we copy and paste that and translate this or over the Google? <laughs> <laughs> no. So the answer is your Russian is not that no. well. No, no, unfortunately. OK, OK. Um, unfortunately, um, I don't know the right pronounce it, but uh, our Russian is not that good. I had a Russian in the school for five years, but I wouldn't call me a Russian expert. So please uh, switch to English if possible. I can only speak something like Skolkotip Gilead, Menia Zabut Matthias, Svini Sapaka, Ulitsa, and so on, but that's not enough for a webinar. Matthias, that was too much for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's start with the beginner strategy. What is the beginner strategy? What are the agenda today? And yeah, you will see here. This is what we want to make today. And um, what is the beginner strategy? Which setup does one need? which steps are there, and then, of course, we start with the first two steps of the strategy, so the market direction and the trade opportunity. And all the other steps, and you will figure out how many steps this strategy has, and will follow next week. So the beginner strategy, and we will show you this in a very practical way with the uh, trading view, or um, you can, of course, use any other broker platform um, and it is pretty, pretty simple, and it is uh, yeah, designed for beginners and newbies. So it's absolutely cool to practice your trading skills with this strategy. And yeah, you will see all the, the aspects, the characteristics of the strategy right now. So the strategy is developed by Tradermo. So you can say it's a copyright of a Tradermo or a trademark of uh, Tradermo. Uh, application only to the Forex market, especially to Euro dollar. Of course, you can use it in Euro, Japanese yen, or uh, British pound, US dollar, any other uh, currency pairs, but it is especially designed for Euro dollar. Um, and this is a strategy which is based on price action. Is a trend following strategy. So it's not good in ranging markets, but it is very good in trending markets. It is an intraday strategy. So you can open and you have to close the trade within the same day. You cannot run the trade over the night. Um, the application is possible and yeah, very useful and helpful with CFDs, so contract for differences. You don't need a big account to trade this with futures. So you can make this with CFDs, and this is possible with a very tiny account. So for example, you can trade this with a $100 account, um, and of course, with bigger accounts as well, no problem at all. Um, this strategy is not optimized for profit maximization, but it is designed as a learning module. Yeah, We are a learning school for trading, and therefore, of course, we have designed a strategy for beginners to learn all the concepts of trading. For example, money management, psychology, uh, psychology. Oh, don't know the right pronouncement. Uh, maybe you can give me a, a help, a hand. Timor, psychology, right? Psychology, yeah. 
Yeah, okay, psychology. Uh, money management and fixed rules are very, very important in trading because if you have a strategy with very fixed and rigged rules, then of course you don't have a lot of space for interpretation and you don't have to decide what to do because the rules say you, you have to do this, it happened this and so on. So it's very clear you don't have any space for interpretation so any rule of this strategy is 100% clear. This is also the beauty of the strategy in my eyes. Okay, any questions so far, guys? No, I think I'm not. Mm -hmm. Have we lost the, the Russian customer? <laughs> or is he still part of the... Uh, I think we, we lost him. Uh, yeah, pity. Okay. Him. Anyways, we will continue. Um, the setup is, of course, very important to trade this strategy. And you need only three things to trade this strategy. Or, yeah, uh, actually, you need here yeah, because money is the fourth aspect, of course. But the first thing is you need a candlestick chart. Um, and I will show you right now what a candlestick chart is. And you need only two indicators. The first is a fractals indicator, which is from um, William Hill. Uh, not, not William Hill, William Hill is a, a betting site. Um, Larry Williams, a Larry Williams indicator, the fractal. And the fractals representing swing highs and swing lows. And it is, I think, a good idea to have a kind of indicator that shows you this is a swing high and this is a swing low because then you don't have any space for interpretation. And the second indicator you need to have is the pivot points or the pivot lines, including, and this is very important, including all the medium pivot points. Um, the fractals in this system are be used uh, to determine the market direction, the entry, and the stop loss. See, the fractals are very important. And the pivot lines are very important to set the take profit. Yeah, you, you exactly know where the take profit needs to be with this pretty simple steps. And now I will show you how this looks like, the chart. Um, just give me a second. So here we are, make this a little bit bigger. And this, for example, is TradingView, but it doesn't matter. You can use this on any trading platform. For example, CapTrader, FX Flat, or what, whatever broker you have, so it, it should be worked on every broker page. So these little guys here, yeah, this icons, triangles here, um, this is a fractal. And let me make this a little bigger. And you see now here, this is a down fractal because it's below a candle yeah, and shows downwards. And this is an up fractal. And the up fractal uh, is above a candle and shows upwards, of course. Now, maybe you ask yourself, why is this here and not here or here or here? Why exactly here? And the answer is pretty simple. An up fractal is shown when the middle candle out of five candles, so two candles to the left and two candles to the right, and then the middle one, the middle of five candles, has the highest price of all candles. Yeah? Therefore, here we have an up fractal. Or for example, here, in this case, two, two candles to the left side or lower highs and two candles to the right side have lower highs. Therefore, we have here the up fractal. And here again, and here again, and here again, and so on. And vice versa, we have the down fractals when the middle candle out of five candles has the lowest price. Yeah, This is here the case. Two candles to the left have higher lows, and two candles to the right have higher lows. Yeah, the same here the case, here the case, and 
you can trust me, this is here the case. Yeah. Therefore, we see here the fractals to the upside and to the downside and the fractal representing a swing high. And you can see this makes a lot of sense. So the market goes up and down. So we have here a swing high. Then the market goes down and up again. Therefore, we have here a down fractal, moves up and down again, builds an up fractal, moves down again, moves a down fractal, and so on and so on. So this is the reason why we see here all these kind of fractals. Any questions regarding the fractals so far? <laughs> take it, take it, Timor, no problem. Um, okay, no questions so far regarding the fractals. Okay, then let's continue. And you see all the horizontal lines here. And these horizontal lines are the pivot points. The thicker ones, yeah, for example, this is a thick line, this is a thick line, this is a thick line, and if I scroll up a little bit, you can see again a thick line. And between the thick lines, you see all the thin lines, yeah, here, 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 and so on. These are pivot points on a daily basis. And the thick lines are the main pivot points, and the thin lines are the medium pivot points. It doesn't matter if it's a thick or a thin, a main or a medium pivot point. For us, only important is there is a line. And these lines are important to us because we need these lines as a take profit. And if I scroll a little bit back, then you can see here these lines changing every day. And because the reason for this is pivot points are calculated um, of the basis from the day before. Yeah? Therefore, the lines changing every single day. These are the pivot points. So now we have two indicators in the candlestick chart. I've forgotten to say that. So these here are candlesticks. Yeah? Candlesticks have a lot of information, a lot more than just a simple line, which is in most cases based on the closing price. So you have here much more information in this period of time. And we have here a 30 minute chart. You can see this here, it's a 30 minute chart. And in, within this 30 minutes, the market opened here, closed here. Therefore, we have a red candle also called a bearish candle. And within the 30 minutes, the price moved even lower to this level. Well, let me make it a little bit bigger. And therefore, we have a little wick to the downside and a wick to the upside. Yeah? Because the price was at this level during the 30 minutes. Yeah, And this is a candlestick. But I think this is not the main topic today. But if you have any further questions regarding the candlesticks, of course, then you can ask this in the chat box. Okay, so now we have the setup for the beginner strategy. We need, I repeat this, a candlestick chart, fractals, and pivot points, including the medium pivot points. These are, this is our setup. Okay, I see no questions about this. No uh, questions at all, Matthias, everything is clear. Okay, okay. And let's continue with the PowerPoint presentation. And now I can tell you how many steps we need to uh, apply the strategy. We have five steps. The first step is determine the market direction. Of course, this is important every time. The second step is finding the trade opportunity. Third, set a pending order. The fourth step is manage the pending order. And then finally, the fifth step is manage trade. Yeah? When we have an open position, then of course we have to manage this position. This here is the fifth step. Today, we just want to talk about the first two steps, and this is determine the market direction and 
how to find the trade opportunity. So the first step is market direction is made on the 30 minute. Now, the first thing you need to know is how to switch to the 30 minute chart. And I have made this in the trading view before, and I will go back to this in a few minutes. Just talk about more, a little bit more about the first step now. Um, then determination is carried out with the help of fractals. So the little guys to the up and the downside of each candlestick, or not each candlestick, but from time to time, you can see this up and down fractals on some candlesticks. And it is locked which fractal was last broken in time. So this is very important. And I will show you some examples uh, in a few minutes, a few seconds. Then the break of a down fractal shows a downtrend or determines a downtrend. And the break of an up fractal shows an uptrend. This, are, this is very, very important to understand. Yeah, it is not important which fractal at which time. It is, very, it, is mere, uh, it is more important that the time of the broken fractal determines the market direction. Now let's go back to the chart that we have our setup already. So at this time, and I wouldn't recommend to trade the beginner strategy after 7 p.m., but just for explanation, I can tell you, currently we have an uptrend. And the uptrend is very, very easy to identify. So just go back and look which of the fractals we have here was broken recently. And you can see this little guy here was broken with this candle. So we can say, yeah, here you can see the time below from 5 p.m. on, and this is a Copenhagen time here. Um, don't be confused if you're in a different time zone. From 5 p.m. Copenhagen time, we had an uptrend in the beginner strategy because the last broken fractal was an up fractal. This one here was broken here. And from this time on, 5 p.m., we had an uptrend. Is this clear? Or maybe some questions regarding this? No, it seems everything OK. OK. But then maybe let's switch back a little bit to a random time. Just say stop, one of you or team or you, <laughs> doesn't matter. Just say stop at the random time. Yes, yeah, stop. OK, OK. Now we can determine the market direction again. So for example, here for the 7th of February, um, at this time, the market direction was down. Yeah? It, moved up, but per definition, we had a downtrend. And I can show you why. Yeah, this is an up fractal, but this up fractal was not confirmed at that time because we need the second candle to the right side. Um, so we go back, this down fractal here was confirmed, but not broken. Yeah, you can see no candle was lower than this. And only in this case, we talking about a broken fracture. Yeah, maybe I forgot to say that. And then this down fractal here was also not broken until yet. And then we go back to this down fractal. And this down fractal represents here this very low of the candle. And you can see this down fractal here was broken at that time. Yeah. And for this reason, we have a downtrend, which is, yeah, at least at this time um, valid. Yeah, we have a downtrend here because the last broken fractal was a down fractal. So this is the determination, uh, determination of a downtrend. 
Okay, then let's make another example because I want to make everything is pretty clear. So maybe one of you guys can say just randomly stop. And then of course I will stop um, moving left and right. No one wants to say stop. <laughs> Come on guys, don't be shy. Just a little stop. Once again, sorry. Yeah, no, no problem. Come on, just a little stop, and then I can explain you another example. Okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks, Ahmed. Um, okay, at this time, we have to determine our market direction. And the market direction at this time, maybe you have already an idea of what market direction we have here. So I give you a little time. Maybe you can say uptrend or downtrend, and then we will have a look together if the market direction definition by you was correct. Up, okay, perfect, thank you, Ahmed. You say the market direction is up and you have absolutely right, okay. And now it's uh, explanation why. So the last fractal, the down fractal here was not broken, yeah? We don't see any, any price lower than this, so we go further back and we will see here this up fractal and this up fractal representing this up this very high of the candle here and this candle this up fractal in other words was broken at this time and for this reason we have an uptrend but also you can say this up fractal here was broken at this time and this is more recent, I would say, because it happens later and only the time of the broken fractal is important to us. Only this matters. And for this reason, I would say this up fractal determines our market direction and the market direction is up. Absolutely correct. Well done, Ahmed. Okay, just a last example to make it very, very clear. A last stop from one of you guys, please. Come on, just one stop, please. Oh. <laughs> Ahmed is helping me again. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Okay, so what would you say? Do we have an up or a downtrend? All of you. Down. Okay, very, very cool. Okay, let's see what is. Uh, the case here and we see this down fractal here was broken at this time here and for this reason of course we have a downtrend excellent Ahmed um, yeah, we have a downtrend here so I think it is pretty clear how to determine the market direction we do this on a 30 minutes chart we're using the fractals the up and the down fractals and the most recent the most recent broken fractal determines the market direction. Up fractal uh, represents an uptrend, a down fractal representing a downtrend. And this is the first step of the beginner strategy determining the market direction. Okay, so this seems pretty clear to all of you. And, oh no, this was not the right one, so here. Yeah. We can go further to the second step of the beginner strategy. The second step of the beginner strategy is again all about the fractals. But we are switching to the five minute chart. So we are switching from the 30 minute chart to the five minute chart because all the trades in the beginner strategy were made in the five minute chart. Um, we are determining the market direction in a bigger time frame in the 30 minute chart. And then we are switching to the five minute chart because we want to use this information about the market direction in a lower time frame. Okay, and this maybe is a little bit confusing to you. So let me explain this. In an uptrend, or oh, let's start with a downtrend. In a downtrend, we need a broken up fractal since we're watching or observing the chart. 
And in an uptrend, we need a broken down fractal in the five minute chart since we're observing the chart. And my, maybe you ask yourself why we do that, because in the uptrend, we want to move higher and why we want to see a broken down fractal and vice versa. And the reason for that is quite simple. We want to um, use a kind of catapult effect or a rubber band. Yeah, um, imagine you moving the rubber band back, then of course it has a lot of power and then it moving much faster with a lot of power forward. And this is the same we want to make here and want to use with the beginner strategy. If we have to determine a market direction up, then we want to see in the five minute chart, moving a little bit back, yeah, then the market can take a deep breath to boost in the right direction in the uptrend in this case. Okay, how this looks like in a chart. Let me move back to example here. So I, and now we, it's, it's pretty uh, difficult because in, actually you trade this live. And from this time on, you are observing all the new existing up and down fractals. But now we don't have the time to wait all the time for new fractals because then the webinar takes maybe three, four or five hours. And for this reason, I would suggest to take just the past data. Yeah, so let's say we start at random here. Let's say we start here and I will make this as a purple or a pink um, candle. So, okay, the first thing, the first thing we need to do is we have to determine our market direction. And at this time here, our market direction is down. Why? Because this down fractal was broken here. Or you can also say this or this down fractal was broken here. Yeah. From this time on, we have a downtrend. Now with this new information, we switch to the five minute chart. Now, of course, it's a little bit annoying. I have to scroll back to the purple or pink line because this is what we want to trade the past. Sorry, guys, it takes a while. Can't remember which day it was. Now oh, it's very, very slow. Where is the line? Here we are. Okay. This is the line and now we are on a five minute chart. I will make it much bigger here. You can clearly see everything. Okay. From this time on, we have a downtrend. In a downtrend, we need an up fractal which appears confirmed and then it's broken. Only then we have a trade opportunity. Okay, now we are waiting for up fractals. This is one, but it's not confirmed yet because the second candle to the right side has to be completed. This is now the case. And now we are waiting for this up fractal is broken. Broken means we have a higher price. Then a down fractal appears, but we don't care about down fractals. We have our focus completely on this up fractal, and this needs to be broken. Or a newer, lower up fractal appears, of course, and we can use this. We see here a new up fractal, but we have to wait for the confirmation. This has happened right now because the second candle to the right side appears and is completed. And we wait for this 
up fractal is broken. And this has happened here. Yeah, I can highlight this much more. So here, this up fractal here represents this candle and this candle has the absolute highest price here. Yeah? And with this candle, we have broken this up fractal and this is our trade opportunity. At this time, we can move forward to the third step of the beginner strategy. And this is entering the pending order with stop loss, the entry price to take profit and so on. But of course, this is the third step and we want to make the third step in the next webinar. For this reason, I would suggest that we are making much more examples here about the trading opportunity. Um, you have some questions about this approach here, how to find a trade opportunity. Maybe I can continue or maybe I can repeat this. In an uptrend, we are looking for a broken down fractal. And in a downtrend, we are looking for a broken up fractal uh, in both cases, of course, in a five minute chart. Any questions about this? No, nothing at all. Okay, okay. Then I would say I switch back to the 30 minute chart. Um, and let's go to the end because it's much easier then. So here we are. Okay. And let's say we have started to trade the beginner strategy in the morning. So let's say 10. 10 a.m. Well, I, I don't know which time, so maybe you can suggest the time uh, we want to start trading. So, for example, we can say uh, 1.30 at this time here. So then I just put the line on here. So at this time, we start to trading the beginner strategy. Yeah, if we are watching the 30-minute chart, and now the first step is determine the market direction. Which market direction do we have at this time here? This is a question to you guys. Do we have an uptrend or do we have a downtrend at this time here? Uptrend or downtrend? What would you say? Uptrend. Okay, perfect. Again, absolutely correct. We have an uptrend because this up fracture was broken here, but we have only focus on the most recent broken fractal. And this is this one here, because this up fracture was broken with this candle. And this is more recent. And therefore, we use this up fracture to determine the market direction. And the market direction is absolutely correct. It is up. We have an uptrend here. Um, okay, the second step now is switch to the five minute chart. And of course, we want to trade the path, and then we need to have this here. And now I move the chart um, in tiny steps forward to see what happens next. So, in an uptrend, we are looking for new down fractals. And this down fractals needs to be confirmed and broken. If you're an up fractal, we don't care about up fractals in an uptrend. In the second step of the beginner strategy, we need to have a down fractal. Here we have a down fractal, but be carefully, we need to have the confirmation with two candles to the right hand side. This has happened now. And now we wait for this down fractal here is broken. So let's make this line just simply black and a little bit thinner. So now we are watching when this will happen because if this down fractal is broken, then we have our trade opportunity. Nothing happens, but here we have a new 
a higher down fractal and we need a confirmation. The confirmation is happened yet uh, now because the second candle to the right hand side is confirmed. And now we are waiting to broken this level here. And this is happening. Yeah. At this time here, we have a broken down fractal in our uptrend, which we have determined in the 30 minute shots before. So this is the second step of the beginner strategy. Any questions regarding the second or the first step in the beginner strategy so far? Because this is pretty much it for today. And the next webinar, we want to make the third, the fourth, and the fifth step of the beginner strategy. And I will show you something is about um, yeah, further explanations and further tips about the beginner strategy, when to avoid uh, to apply the strategy, for example, which are the best times to trading the strategy. And maybe we are talking about the, the back test, the results of the last 12 years with this pretty simple strategy. Okay, great, great, great. So I'm very excited for the next week on Tuesday when you uh, show us the second part. Let's see. Okay, so maybe some questions in the chat box. I see somebody is typing. There's only a thanks from Ahmed. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I don't see any further questions. Okay, then I would say if you want to learn more about Forex, Forex trading and so on, then of course you can become a premium member. And in a premium member, you can have, let's have a look here, learn. Then I'm logged in, so let me log out. And here, for example, you have the nano diplomas. And one of this is the Forex Trader Nano Diploma. And in this course, you have more than 50 hours of um, yeah, content, 31 courses, including 13 projects. You get mentorship. You have to, yeah, you can join our Slack channel, for example. Here, this is the Slack channel. And in our Slack channel, you can discuss everything with us and other traders and then we have a signal community where we post all our trades in our $100,000 life account in real time so you see when we open a trade when we close a trade for example here today we closed a position in gold with a nice profit of $2,902 it's a little typo in it but cannot edit it because I didn't make the post, but it was close to $3,000. And yeah, all of this, I think it's worth to to pay just $1, right, Timur? Yes, yes. Uh, we've got the campaign now. Instead of 49 uh, US dollars per month, you can start now with the first month with uh, one US dollar. And uh, yeah, you are able to cancel monthly. There's no problem. So you can start with one US dollar. And uh, in the second month, when you are not satisfied, but I'm very convinced you will be satisfied. But if not, you can can cancel anytime and see the whole stuff and see the whole content of Trademo just only with one USD, just only for a trial. Yeah. yeah. And have got, uh, Matthias, have you got still the link uh, where they can where they can add the uh, voucher code? because I can give the voucher code over the chat box on uh, Matthias. Yeah. But it, it, it's recorded, Timur, so let's continue. Just ah, yes. okay. one or two minutes. Yeah, it's okay. Um, oh, very good. There are, there's the link. And the voucher code uh, for, 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 for uh, for the one dollar campaign is a tradimo one. So if you fill out the fields uh, with your with your information, name, email address, then put the voucher code in there, and automatically you will pay for the first month one US dollar. Mm -hmm. 
And after the first month, uh, to say this, because we are very, uh, yeah, uh, trustworthy, the second month, of course, then costs you $49. So it's just for the first month to test us. And we are very convinced that you are happy with us. And yeah, it's worth to, to take the premium service. Okay, then I would say that's it. Um, we'll see you all ho hopefully next week. This was Matthias and... Yes, thanks. Yeah, that was, it was Timo. And Timo. <laughs> and, uh, I hope we see you next week on Tuesday with the second part. And uh, I hope you enjoyed, of course, uh, the whole content and the whole education from Matthias. And to just take the chance, lock in into premium, in the, into the premium access, subscribe, put the voucher code in there, Tradimo1. I put it in the chat box and you will start the first month with uh, one US dollar. Okay, good. Then have a nice evening, guys. Bye. Have a nice evening. You too. Bye.